Ladies and gentlemen, this is a story that came out on NewJersey.com January 31st, 2019. It's so cold, even a nuclear reactor in New Jersey can't do its job. So they have to shut down a reactor at um, the Salem location. So this is the facility that you see in the picture. The frigid temperatures the state is experiencing has taken its toll in a number of ways. One of the consequences has been the shutdown of one of the nuclear reactors in Salem County. PSEG spokesman Joe Delmar Sr. says the utility company's Salem Unit 2 reactor was manually taken offline by control room operators early Thursday morning at 3.01 a.m. due to frail icing condition at the circulating water intake structure on the non-nuclear side of the power plant. Delmore says there was no impact to the health or safety to the public or plant personnel. You can never believe these folks. <laughs> no, no defense, but you can never believe them. But I do believe that the cold weather, because it's been bitterly cold, can impact a nuclear reactor. I definitely do believe that. Just like hurricanes can impact it, floods. Yes, I do believe that. The cold weather, uh, water temperatures, and wind all played a role in the ice buildup. Each of the Salem units has six water pumps. Part of the pumps, each 60-foot intake screens that stand up in the water structure in Delaware Bay. The screen rotate going down into the water and raising back up in a continuing rotation, Delmar explained. Delmar said the screens did not have enough water flow into the pumps Wednesday night during low tide. As the screens came back up to the surface, the ice began to form. The plant operators were out in the field even trying to use heaters. Four out of six pumps automatically tripped due to the lack of water flow. Yeah, everything was frozen, Delmar said. Per operating procedures, the plant is taken offline once four of the six pumps do not have enough water flow. You know, one thing I can honestly tell y'all, I don't trust these people handling nuclear power plants. You know, we've seen so many disasters and I did a video on all of the disasters that have occurred worldwide. There are many, many, you know, and some of these facilities, even here in the U.S., they need work and they know it. But no, I, I don't, I don't trust them. And to me, they got more to hide than to reveal to us in the public. The cold also affects Salem Unit 1, causing the unit to operate at 92.5%. And plan officials plan to monitor the weather conditions Thursday night to determine when to bring Salem Unit 1 back up 100%. An estimate on when Salem Unit 2 will return to service is unavailable at this time, Delmar said. Operators at all three plants will continue to monitor weather conditions and are trained to take appropriate action if needed. There is no impact on the power supply, he said. You know, these people can tell you anything I think sometimes when something is an emergency, they try not to tell you or they tell you in an indirect way, but try to downplay how serious this is. So who knows? I, I don't believe we'll ever get the real story on how serious this is, but you can best believe, you know, with these conditions out here, 
you know, from this uh, polar vortex, it has impacted many things. Many things have been impacted by this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as soon as the weather turns warm, you're going to see a lot of water main breaks happen. That's what's going to follow all of this deep freeze. And don't be surprised if you see a lot more sinkholes too. You know, it's as soon as the weather warms back up and it's going to be a pretty rapid warm up. Now, tonight is 11 degrees, but by Sunday and Monday, it's going to be all in the 50s. So you're jumping from 11 degrees all the way up until that temperature, you know, to that temperature. Yeah, it's going to be an impact. And the pipes are going to go from a frigid temperature to warm. Yeah, they're going to burst. They're going to burst. And we're going to have a lot of these burst, <laughs> bursting pipes happening. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, this is really not that far, you know? And there are quite a few of these nuclear plants around, you know? Wow, that's all I can say, you know? Um, I just hope everybody is safe from whatever's going on at this plant. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you in the next video. Peace, family.